I sometimes think about like the Star Wars movies and it's like, okay, that is the way, you know, a Jedi would talk. Or that is the way, like, how do you know? It's like, <laughs> this is completely made up. And um, it's, it's, it's an intuitive, emotional, intellectual thing. And I feel like, and this is where like somebody like Vince Gilligan is just like, gosh, how did you know that? Um, but you try to feel it so deeply that you understand that person. You feel like you, you're inhabiting that person. And when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor. And this is sort of, I'm acting at my keyboard. I'm pretending to be each person in my show. But I think the other thing that is really important, for me anyway, the way I approach dialogue, is understanding the character. If you don't understand them, you can't really write them. Understanding what they want. And then making them a really good advocate for whatever they are. If they're a, a cop, I don't do stupid cops. I don't have them do stupid things. I mean, you, if they're a racist, okay, they're a racist, but I'm going to have them be a really effective racist. Or if they're, you know, whatever it is, drug at, what, whatever I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make them a really powerful example of that, version of that. And this is one thing I learned from Chris writing The X-Files in the beginning, especially because of this system, actually. In the beginning, there was this system, and I go, okay, I'm just going to write the scene. I know how it begins, I know how it ends, and here's the conflict. And my scenes were like a flat line. It was perfectly linear. I went from A to B to C. Boring. And what I learned from, from watching Chris rewrite my early scripts was how he would get from A to B to C, but he would surprise you. Oh, he did that. Oh, and then he did that. And it came about... There were like, you know, eddies like in a current that didn't go quite the way you were expecting. And it was delightful and it was funny and it had life. It felt more like real people. So that's where the craft part kind of affects the art. So the art part is, is understanding who you're writing and making them really effective at whatever they are. And then the craft part is making sure you're not linear and predictable in the dialogue that you, you give them.